But first, a massive pallet fire in downtown LA has completely shut down the 10 freeway. That's right, and it may be shut down for some time to come. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is live in downtown with the latest on the fire, the freeway damage, and the prospects for reopening. Good morning. Yeah, Rachel Sheba, there's so much going on out here right now. LAFD is working with Caltrans. They're trying to sort everything out. Of course, CHP dealing with all the traffic from this fire, and there is no telling when everything will reopen. We want to show you right now what's going on here at this underpass. We are on 14th Street. This is the 10 freeway, and you see they are still dousing this fire, that uh, the hot spots are still burning. That fire engine you see there also damaged from the flames early this morning. And as we move over, we can show you there are damaged cars. There is a lot of debris that burned underneath the freeway. So much burning that check out what the freeway itself looks like. I mean, you could see how charred the side of the freeway is this overpass here again at 14th Street. So LAFD sent in a robot just a short time ago to put out some of those hot spots because crews are not allowed to stand underneath any of that concrete. And uh, some of the freeway again, you could see just how damaged it is from here. Let's show you some of the video video from overnight. It is intense to see massive flames shooting up and over the lanes of the traffic on the 10. LAFD says they got a call around 1:45 this morning. It was for a 200 by 200 pallet yard that was burning. Other materials were stored there like junked cars. Uh, those were also burning. It was so intense that the radiant heat sparked a fire across the street. So crews also had to deal with that. And they were worried about businesses burning nearby, but firefighters were able to protect those. 164 firefighters from 26 LAFD companies responded here. The damage is done to the freeway, though. Broken off concrete, melted steel, and guardrails. There's also uh, damaged cars. At this point, there's no actual time for how long the freeway will be shut down, but it could be a long wait. You're looking at about a 24 hour time frame at this point in time. It is preliminary. So in a sense, all we can really speak of right now is 24 hours. Uh, we hope that that could be shortened, but because of the intense fire, we just don't know. Correct. And, and that's why if you are planning to come into downtown and I'm not saying it's going to affect weekday, but again, start anticipating what will be your route, what is going to be my way in and anticipate the delays that it's going to cause because of course it is vital into coming into this this uh, direction. So again, we're talking about downtown Los Angeles. You see on this map here, we're looking at the 10 freeway shut down in both directions. This is between Alameda and Santa Fe. But as we just heard from the CHP, he is talking about uh, the East LA interchange. So any of this area, if you are coming here this weekend, just know to avoid it because it will be shut down. There's no time frame exactly for when it could reopen. As we heard him say, potentially 24 hours. But now that the sun is coming out, hopefully they can get some engineers here to start the inspection. As we come back live, you can see the damage where there are chunks of concrete that have fallen down from the freeway overpass. Fire crews still at this hour dousing the uh, debris that is still burning. They're going to have hot spots burning for quite a while, they suspect. You know, one thing I want to point out is that LAFD told me there was so much going on. They had to put so much water onto this fire that they even max out their water pressure for the hydrants in the area. So fire crews had to call DWP in to augment those water systems to get more water down here to help them continue their work. There is a lot going on, and we are working to gather any of the latest information. We'll have updates throughout the morning. Live in downtown L.A., Rick Montanez, KCAL News. All right, Rick, thank you so much. It's going to affect a lot of people's commutes Definitely. this weekend.